welcome to your lesson today for Saxon Math Intermediate 5, Lesson 5, Naming Whole Numbers and Money. Our objectives for this lesson, after this lesson you should be able to use words to name a number shown in digits, use digits to write a number expressed in words, use words to name an amount of money, and use digits, a dollar sign, and a decimal point to write an amount of money that is expressed in words. A little bit of review from the last lesson. Remember that the closer a number is to zero, the smaller that number is. We use the equal to, greater than, and less than symbols to compare numbers, and those are the symbols given there. And when you're comparing numbers, remember that order matters. These two comparisons look the same, and they're both mathematically correct, but you read them differently. The first one is, this one here, is 6 is less than 7, and this one is 7 is greater than 6. So remember that you say them differently. For today's lesson, we're going to go back to expanded form a little bit, just to practice saying our numbers correctly. So here's expanded form and you would read this number if I wrote it in just regular digits as 365 so notice you're just saying the different parts of the expanded form in order 365 that's how you say that number so that would be 365 hyphens we use when we're writing numbers from 21 to 99 with words that don't end in zero. So for example, 34, notice the hyphen in between the words 30 and 4 right here. We don't have it just like this with a space right here. Here's another example, 268. Notice there's a hyphen between the 60 and the 8 because 68 is between 21 and 99, but 200 does not have a hyphen in between it because that's more than 99. This is a common mistake. Uh, never, ever, ever, ever use the word and when you're naming a number unless that number has a decimal point. Because in math, if you say the word and, that means you're putting a decimal point right where you are saying the word and. Here's an example of that. And this is something a lot of people do. They see the number 204 and they say, oh, that's 204. But that's not actually what you're, what you're saying when you say 204. You are, if you say 204, this is the number you're saying because you said 200 and is the decimal point 4, not 204. So it's 204 with no and. However, if you're doing dollars and cents, <clears throat> then you always say the word and because our dollars and cents have a decimal point. Here's $13 and 47 cents. So notice when you say and, that's where that little decimal point is. $13 and 47 cents. That's all for this lesson today. Make sure you check your practice problems and write down any questions in the discussion section and we'll talk about them next time. We'll see you in your next video.